Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what's in here. Oh my God, oh, look, it's more inventory. Yay! Hi, my name is Scott Reynolds. I'm the team leader of the Reynolds team here at Compass in Bureau Beach. And this is the December market report for the Beachside Marketplace. So uh, this is gonna include uh, condominiums and for single family homes all combined for the, for the beach side. And just in general, what we're seeing is we're just seeing a, a normalization of inventory to getting back to where it's like a normal supply and demand of uh, properties. And so that's why I'm gonna kind of talk about a little bit more about the increase in inventory. We're still seeing plenty of sales, especially compared to same time last year. So no fears there, but the buyers are having a lot more options to choose from, which is good because with them not having options was also keeping them from buying. So it started holding them off from moving forward because they couldn't find the right property. Now, the way times are now, everyone's not panic buying and trying to be, uh, you know, just buy a place to buy a place like during the pandemic. Now it's, uh, they're wanting to make sure that it fits all their criteria. And that with the lack of inventory was actually holding people back off the market. So with that being said, there's 281 homes that are on the market um, through, through November. And that's a 45% increase of inventory from the same time last year. We also added 69 new listings in the month of uh, November. That's a 13% uh, increase from last year as well. On the sold properties, we closed on 31 homes and that's a 47% year over year increase. Um, November a year ago was kind of a weird month because the that was when the interest rates and everything was kind of going on at the same time. So uh, we're comparing to an underperforming month, but it's still year over year. On pending sales, we're 53%, I'm sorry, we closed, went our contract on 53 homes uh, in the month of November, and that is a 89% increase year over year. Um, just to put it in perspective, pre-pandemic and now, during the same month, four years ago, it's crazy that it was four years ago, but four years ago, there were 502 homes on the market during the same time. And right now we're at 281. So we still got quite a ways to go of adding more inventory to get back to normal. Um, and then also to put that in perspective, um, the the average sales price during that time period was at 520,000. And right now we're at a million 250 uh, for the month of November. So a big difference in uh, uh, value and sales price as well. But it was also four years ago. Um, then on the average sales price, uh, we were at $617 a square foot. Um, I like giving that number, but just keep in mind it's with homes and condos. Uh, we may need to get specific uh, to your home, um, but that's that's the average price per square foot. So on the average days on market, it's at 145 days, which is an increase of 35% year over year. And we had a um, sell price to list price ratio at 90%. That takes into account from the very beginning to when it when it sells. And then on the values that we're not seeing any decline in values on the beach side, uh, we're seeing about an average 5% increase um, year over year um, when you're comparing like kind properties. So this, this month, the average, uh, the median sales price was uh, $1.25 million. So that is not the end. <laughs> Then moving on to months of inventory, we actually ticked down to 5.3 months of inventory, which is kind of abnormal for recently. It's like it's been a little bit high, uh, lower than that, but the normal market for the beachside market uh, pre-pandemic was four to six months was totally normal. So we're, we're approaching that period of time right now. So that's Based on based on pending sales, meaning if another home didn't go uh, come on the market, how many months it would take to um, sell all the existing inventory? So that is the overall market. Overall, it's very healthy. Buyers are having some choices. 
if if uh, the property's not really positioned well, maybe not marketed well, uh, maybe you know is not priced in line with uh, condition or location, it is sitting a little longer. Uh, but once those things get adjusted, the buyers are moving on it. So um, that's what we're seeing overall. If you have any questions or you would like to talk about the sale of your home and, and would like to get a detailed strategy plan, don't hesitate to reach out. All my information is below and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next year. Thank you. Bye. Ho, ho, ho.